Hi guys, uh, so let me share some fresh cool stuff with you. Uh, I thought it's an easy thing to track form submissions from Squarespaces with Google Tag Manager. Well, to track form submissions is always a tricky thing, but it usually possibly to solve. So I thought like Squarespaces is such a common uh, website builder and it should be easy and it wasn't as it the, the URL page doesn't change and uh, uh, event uh, in GTM is not seen and uh, I thought I can find uh, information in internet but I couldn't. There are some solutions with code injections but um, I was looking for this solution that doesn't implement like coding or something and it is quite universal. So I found it and I'm happy to share it with you. So this is the form and the website built with Squarespace. And uh, the main problem is that uh, when we put something like test there and uh, try to submit the form, something like So you see the URL and we submit the form and the URL doesn't change. The only thing uh, that wasn't seen but now it's here is thank you for your inquiry. So it's kind of not thank you page but thank you message. So uh, this is uh, the solution we can implement. We will try to use trigger called element visibility. So uh, we need to open uh, its code the, in the code mode of uh, Google Chrome and see what is this element about. So this is that div and it has class. It's tricky to use ID uh, in case of Squarespace because it seems like Squarespace have dynamic IDs but the class of this div element is stable so we will be able to use it uh, for our trigger. And now we are in a Google Tag Manager of the same website built with Squarespace. Here we see the core tag form submit which actually sent the event to Google Analytics and it's firing trigger success element which is all the how to about. So for instance we go to the, this tag and look at the firing trigger. The trigger type is element visibility and the settings is quite simple. Uh, we use uh, selection method CSS selector because uh, ID is dynamic uh, in case of uh, square spaces and here the name of the CSS selector. As I said we could take it from here like if we select the thank you message after form submit we see it class form submission text and here it goes div dot form submission text the rest of the settings are uh, not so important we can choose once per element when to fire and observe job changes for more reliability so this is it we can now test it we go to Squarespace website to the same uh, form to submit. I'm gonna move my bubble because uh, uh, we need to see the Google Tag Manager debug mode. So again, I put some test stuff to test the form submission. Okay, so we see the event, element visibility, and our form submit tag has triggered. Yay! So it, it's that easy. Uh, if you need some, some support or assistance, please ask.